Good morning, you lovely lot, and welcome to another day of boot sale shenanigans. It's been a peculiar week at Casa del Dave. Uh, last weekend was absolutely amazing on sales, but last couple of days it's kind of dropped off a cliff. So we're going to get over to the boot sale and turn that round today, get some really good quality stock in. My original plan was to go to the cattle market at Clitheroe, but... I think it's going to be very small because uh, it was, it's been raining really quite badly over the last 24 hours. So I'm going to get over to Accrington instead and possibly, if I finish there early enough, then go to Clitheroe because they're only about 20, 25 minutes apart. So let's get on the road then and see what we can find at Accrington. <laughs> Have you got on your bike boots? Hey. How much have you got on your bike boots? Five. There's a jacket under there as well. That was a couple. My husband's disabled now. We can't ride anymore. All oh, right. It's not because of the bike, is it? No. No. It working direct. All oh, right. Okay. The chairman at Partisans. Oh, big like guy. Never heard of him. <laughs> Yeah, with chairman at Partizans, and they had a work injury and had to give up biking, so it's all going. Bikes have gone, everything's gone. But just have a right good route. Yeah, yeah. We had a yeah, thirteen hundred um, extra. Were it? All right, yeah, yeah. I'm crap on remembering what yeah. bikes are what. Man, we're a little one two five. Yeah. <laughs> SR125. <laughs> I, I had one of them when I started out. Oh, the bro, the well, mine, mine was back. I came off it. Right, okay. I yeah. And damaged all my left shoulder. Oh, do you know what? To this day, the reliability, that's one of the best bikes yeah. I've ever had. Yeah, I bought it brand spanking new. Yeah. Um, Yamaha on Blackburn Road in Acton. Brilliant bikes. Absolutely brilliant. My uncle died a biker. Yeah. He died last year. He was 16 when he passed his bike test. Never took a car test. Yeah. Never driven anything for more than two wheels. <laughs> yeah. And he was 73. Still riding the motorbike. He it's, had in, a, it's in the blood. A Bonnie Wallaby. All that right, yeah. 650. Bonnie Wallaby. <laughs> Sorry. All right, yeah. Them are summer gloves. And how much are the gloves? Have you got the other one to that? It should be in there. Probably fallen out of some. Oh, point do you know what? Into. I've got a pair of WSG, but can't find it for love nor money. Uh, yeah, it's the jacket summer. Out. Yeah, it might be. In the sleeve it. That jacket or something. Then how about these gloves? A couple of quid. Yeah. Do the tenner. Eh? Do the tenner, those three. Thank you. I'm going right money, I think, as well. Uh, lovely. I've no change from me whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I've remembered thanks today, but yeah, not yeah. the little bit of money. That's the important bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Will you come back in five, ten minutes? Yeah, yeah, of course. so much cheaper. Though. Yeah, no worries. Morning, Dave. Morning, hey, mate. How are you? Not too bad yourself. Yeah, can't grumble. It was a toss up here uh, between here and um, Clitheroe this morning. Was it? Yeah, What's yeah. What's the weather like over there? Uh, well, it's indoor anyway, isn't it? But is it? I've not I was, been to Clitheroe. I was there last week yeah. and it, it was more busy outside than it was inside. Was it? So, and because it, it suffers quite badly with um, huge puddles outside there. Right. right. Well, that's the first one of the year this year. Kid sizes.
Are you going to the uh, resource on it? Yeah, I wasn't going to go. They asked me to speak. Did they? Um, and I wasn't really comfortable with people paying to see me because yeah. I give away my yeah. content for free, like, you know? Yeah. But I was kind of thinking it's a good opportunity to, um, yeah. to yeah, we're not so much like fanboy it, but make contacts. Yeah, yeah. So, another couple of pairs here, my mate. Uh, 15, yep. and again 25 on those. See you later. All the best to you, mate. Cheers. It might be worthwhile having a bin below. If you have no better to do for the rest of the day, have a go over to clear the road. It's only like 25 minutes away, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Would you go 30? No. No. That's, That's tight for me, that, yeah. yeah. 35? 35 will do. Yeah, blinded. There you go, Paul. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Have Cheers. a good one. Thank you. How much have you got in your vans? You can have them for two for Oh, you're a good one. Bargain, is that? Thank you very much. Thank you. How much have you got on your remotes? Happy. Did you do a tenner for the bag? Yeah. Thank you. Well, let's not take on the better. <laughs> You're that way out today. How's it going, buddy? Okay. Yeah, not too bad. What have we got on this? Sorry? How much is it? All ten on the jacket. Do you want to take it off? Do you want to have a look? Yeah, please. I don't want to push. It's I'm a lot of bloody lighter come here. <laughs> is it a pullover job? Of course, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's massive. I think you need like ten layers underneath it. Yeah, for a yeah. It's a proper skiing one. It's a, it's a lovely large as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Jeez. I think it's old school skiing. Yeah. Definitely up in the See what I can do with it. Trainer guys killed my budget today. I don't need about 35. Yeah. And then people was offering 25 for it, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What have we got in the camp for, mate? 12. Is it, is it working, do you know? It so, is, but I haven't been out for a couple of months, so if the, but, it, but it was charged up. I don't yeah, know yeah. It, was, it wasn't fully charged, but it was enough to show it worked. Fair enough. Unfortunately, it happened not last night, so... CCD, TRV, 35V. Did you do a tenner? Yeah. YouTube channel, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. ABL reselling. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cheers, man. Thank you. What have you on them? There's the demos, they're 15. Thank you. Just that. Just that too quick. What do you got? A 10 on them? We get 20 quid all in. Uh, do you know what? I wouldn't know. I'm not at the moment. If we no, no, you're right. an hour, I still had them, then I would. But I'm, 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 I'm going to pay 15 for them. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just got to I was disappointed because I thought they were bloody DMs as well. <laughs> oh, wow. It happened. Do you know what? I got caught out of Bolton. Two pang. I got caught out of Bolton week before last. Is this with eight, eight, eight yeah. DMs. What is it? That's a pound. That's a pound. Two pounds for the two. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, when I open the book, because I'm, I'm, I'm a booker for miscellaneous boxes yeah. and auctions, yeah. especially during <laughs> yeah. lockdown. Oh, yeah, I've had some of that. That's it, yeah, but yeah. When I open it, I was like, oh, yeah, so I've got some. Yeah. 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 I've only ever done that once, bought two suitcases full of uh, random stuff. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I did all right? There's a lot of crap in there, but I did all right out of it. For me, it's after me, it's the excitement of opening up and just thinking... That's it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes yeah. great video content as well. Yeah, yeah. You get a house full of crap. <laughs> Cheers, pal. All the best to you. Cheers, now that wasn't actually a bad result, you know. It was the quietest I've seen it for a good long while at Accrington. I don't like to judge these things, but I think as the season progresses on, uh, there's few people want to hang about in sort of like a quite a dark uh, multi-story car park when there's a lot of other options about even indoor boot sales now particularly with Clitheroe opening I've spent almost all my budget surprisingly at Accrington and I was going to go over to Clitheroe to see how it's going on Clitheroe now has been open for an hour and I don't know there's a couple of people I know have gone and I'll ask them if it was busy but I've just got a feeling that it's not going to be so busy this week I think it's really important to pay your budget as well now contrary to popular belief i'm not a multi-millionaire youtuber <laughs> i'm just a very very small one-man band i haven't got a copious amount of cash flow to rely on so it's really important to stick to a budget of course that means i'm going to miss out on some deals but one surefire way of burning through your cash flow which is the lifeblood of your business is to be prevalent now getting that balance right between buying good quality profitable stock and missing out on opportunities because you've set a strict budget it's a really really difficult balance to maintain but it's an important one nonetheless because as well as buying good quality stock i've got to keep the business running today's been a great mix of bread and butter type items and potentially really really healthy margin items as well i spent a lot of money with a trainer guy i could have spent a lot more if i wasn't so strict with the budget to be fair but keeping a mental note of how much potential profit is in what I've picked up. I should do pretty well out of it. But we'll find out in a minute when I take everything home and take you through what I picked up. Obviously, let you know how much I paid for it and let you know how much it's getting listed for. Well, slap my thigh and call me Shirley. From what I thought was a relatively quiet boot sale, I've just done the totals for what I picked up, as I do when I get home after every boot sale, just to check my homework, because you should never take anything for granted. And, touch wood, no cock-ups, not even a little one. It's nothing shy of a miracle. <laughs> Let's get rock and roll and show you what I got. Right, you've got to ignore that pile of toys there because that's more stock for Amazon, which I purchased earlier in the week. Okie cokey. From the trainer guy there, I've had it on good authority that this guy sells absolutely kosher gear. I've done some preliminary checks and everything checks out so far. The only slight downside is that pair stinks of fags but anyway we'll come on to that i paid 130 pound to the trainer guy for eight pairs of trainers and the breakdown is two pairs of air force ones they used to command really really great money air force ones but i think they're just a bit too popular now so the price has come down a bit but listing value on those 35 pound each some new with tags adidas galaxy force listing value on those again 35 pound Nike Vapor Max Plus. These are a really lovely feeling pair of trainers in great condition as well. On this type of trainer, there were a couple of pairs there where when I would check check the bubbles, they were clearly popped. They were far too squidgy. That's one thing you always have to check with trainers like that, with, but with any kind of bubble in really. On the Vapor Max Plus, listing value £60. Next, Nike Flying It Racer. Again, great condition, not very much wear at all. Listing value on those, £45. The ones that have got a funk of cigarettes. I mean, it's not excessive, but it's there. I can smell it because it's just bloody minging and I'm attuned to that kind of stuff. They are a bit worn and I might be being a bit generous on the listing value on these. I mean, they're not, it's not crazy, crazy worn. They're in good condition. It's just sort of like to the soul and whatnot. But like I say, I might be being a bit brave with the listing value I'm going to put on it, which is £60. I will obviously put a lot of effort into taking away that nasty rank smell as well can you tell i don't like a cigarette smell <laughs> i'm not gonna get smokers i mean each to their own whatever but it just does smell minging and i'm it's probably not as bad as i'm making it out to be as well some adidas climber cool trainers again great nick they were quite surprising actually i thought they'd be higher value than they are but a listing value on those 35 pound 
And from the Nike Hurek range, I'm still probably not saying that right, but hey, whatever, I've sold loads of pairs, so that's all that really matters. It only matters that I spell it right. It doesn't, mean to say, it doesn't matter if I can say it right. <laughs> These are the Huarark Utility. I think they're a bloody ugly looking shoe compared to the counterparts, but hey, each to their own. Listing value on those, £40. From a seller I bumped into last week at Clear the Road, a couple of box sets. Uh, the Home Alone collection, I probably end up sitting on that. I mean, I'm not a fan of sitting on uh, stock at all. And I'm looking for box sets for Amazon at the moment, but I'm looking for new box sets. The, because it's Home Alone and it's a great series, I picked this up anyway. Uh, even at Christmas time, I'm probably only looking at a listing value of 10 to £15. At this time of year, used, I'm probably only looking at about £6 or £7, to be fair. Not sure entirely what I'm going to do with it just yet. With whether this actually is a cock up. I've only paid a pound for it anyway, so whatever kind of thing. But making up for it by a country mile is the other one. This is 30 Rock Complete Seasons uh, 1 to 4. I bought this because it's brand new and sealed and specifically for Amazon. This is going into my Amazon stock. Again, paid a pound for it and the listing value on Amazon for that is £38. I will be taking the stickers off before it goes into my Amazon stock as well. Now, these beautiful, beautiful, genuine, <laughs> for a change, if you did see my last video, picked up some, well, last but one video, picked up some fake docks. These are 100% kosher. The 14 hole are a preference to the eight hole because they just command greater money. These are in great nick. They have got somewhere to them, really cool design. It would have been nice to have had the original laces in, but I think these are make the pictures look good. And I think with Doc Martens, people, or swap them out if they need, if need be anyway. I've only just noticed actually that that's actually two laces tied together. Whether that's a thing with uh, Doc Martin's fanciers, I don't know, but <laughs> there you go. Paid £15 for these and these definitely were a steal because they're really rare. I can't find this design. I can find some 14 hole with designs on, uh, some white ones with a similar kind of black print on the front, but I can't find these, this, this design Doc Martin's uh, to evidence them. And I'm going to put that down to rarity. UK size six. And because of the unusual or rare design, I'm going to put a listing value of £120 on them. I'll give it one cycle on eBay and then start taking offers on them. But I just think they're bleeding lovely, Gavna. First pickup of the day were these three items, two sets of motorcycle boots. Sadly, the guy, uh, not motorcycle related, is no longer able to ride through disability. Uh, they're a little bit ropey. I mean, to be fair, these are probably going to need reshaping, particularly the, the second pair there uh, for the pictures, which isn't that difficult to do. So we've got Hein Gerrick boots. These are both recognised brands. Hein Gerrick, not exactly the highest end, but uh, certainly entry level. People who are sort of like getting the gear on a budget or buy this type of stuff. I paid £10 for all three items and the breakdown is Hein Gerrick boots, listing value £20. The Frank Thomas boots, once they're reshaped and assuming they can be uh, made look presentable, which I'm pretty confident they can be, £25. And these Alpine Stars Gore-Tex gloves. Now there's a very good chance I'm going to keep these for myself because I haven't got any warm weather waterproof gloves. The downside to these though is that they're not armoured and I feel naked on a bike without armoured gear on of some description, particularly gloves. So I may or may not keep them anyway, but obviously for the video I'm going to put a listing value on them and that is £22. Really nice condition, Skechers, re relaxed fit slip-ons. I thought they were lace-up, but that's just the design. They are slip-ons. Great condition again, not much in the way of wear. A little bit of wear to the sole, perhaps worn around the house kind of kind of thing. Because of the condition, Skechers, always a safe bet. Listing value on those, £25. These fabulous vans. I love picking up vans because they're just decent bread and butter. They don't hang around long. They're not staggering value, but uh, they, they, they fly out the door. These are very unusual. Uh, I haven't been able to find an exactly exactly the same design as these on recent comps. Some with panels of uh, tartan on, but nothing quite as impressive as these. Because of the rarity, I'm going to stick a listing value of £25 on those. Uh, if there were a plain pair, we're probably looking at £17, £18 listing value, but I'm pretty confident with a listing value again of £25 because of the quirk of them. 
possibly the pickup of the day and curiosity got the better of me. I have actually tested this camcorder already and it does work. I'm very, very happy about this. All this came in the bag. This is a Sony, cam, Sony Handycam CCD TRV35E. The way I'm gonna bundle it is the remote, the manual, four used tapes, obviously the charger and the charger adapter, some miscellaneous leads there. I paid 15 pound for everything in that bag. And the camera with accessories, I'm gonna put a listing value of 140 pound on it. And because these tapes are brand new, these are the uh, Sony MP90s, listing value of those five pound each. I'm not going to include the bag in the sale because it's got a knackered zip on it and I just think it could be a, a, a complete waste of time. But what I might do though is use it as packing. And lastly today, this collection of 26 remote controls. The lady did me a deal actually and she, she wanted a pound a piece for them and I just offered her a tenner for the whole bag. It was a bag for life. And the breakdown is pretty damn impressive to be fair. I've mentioned in previous videos that always check uh, remotes because there can be some really significant value in some of them, particularly higher end items like Denon or uh, Teak, for example, Technics, the, the, the high end brands can, the remotes for them can command silly, silly money. But older TV remotes, particularly branded ones, can't be sniffed at either. So the breakdown with this little lot, I've got three remotes here, two Sony's and a Toshiba. They're five pound each listing value. The next group uh, of nine remotes, we've got eight Panasonic and one Samsung. They'll be eight pound each. And in the last group, we've got a JVC, two Panasonics and a Samsung. And the list of all the is 10 pound each. This particular Samsung remote though, I've no idea what it's for if I'm honest, though, but going off the, the model number, it would actually be worth uh, a listing value of about 25 pound, but sadly it hasn't got back on it. So I'm gonna chance my hand at a tenner, maybe put it on as offers. And lastly of that lot, these are the miscellaneous remotes that I'm not gonna be listing, all with a value of under five pound. It really isn't worth my while listing those at all. So they'll probably just get binned if I'm honest. So this goes to show that even quiet boot sales can give you a really good result. Now I'm going to be completely honest with you here because obviously I'm a full-time reseller and it's important to me to hit a certain level every month. I've got mortgage to pay and bills, just same as everybody else. So I've got to make this work. Last weekend of sales, I did about £1,200 Friday to Monday. This weekend, I think I might have just broken £100 in sales. It really can spin on a die like that. And this is not a glamorous lifestyle. This is not the lifestyle that's going to get you rich. But it is a lifestyle that you can absolutely love. If you guys love boot sales and reselling half as much as me, then how bad can it be? <laughs> I genuinely feel like I bought my freedom back with relatively little effort. Now from my last video, a few people have commented on things that I missed out on when I was looking around and there was a couple of absolute pearls in there of things that I see on a regular occurrence that I will definitely be picking up in future because you don't know what you don't know. I just skip past them. But you lovely, lovely viewers of this channel, uh, an absolute goldmine of information. So thank you very much for that. On that note, if you did see anything today that I missed that you definitely would have picked up, then let me know in the comments of the video. You know your support for this channel means the world to me. If you could give it a thumbs up, it'd be very much appreciated. I know you guys are already subscribed already because you're super sexy, savvy sausages. If you're not though, hit that subscribe bell and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. Until next time, my dear friends, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon. Be working on focus on millions. I had to change the way I was living. Now I'm doing me. I don't need an opinion. I inhaled a smoke and I start to feel different. I'm trying to give me the car with no limit. I ain't around when they start taking pictures. I start from the ground and I build up my business and flip it for profit when I feel like switching.